Hello there, Michaelers. Pearl Jr. here. How is everyone doing? I've missed coming on live um, and I've missed you all. Um, I wanted to uh, thank, oh my God, I got a gift in the mail. And um, I, you know, sometimes I wonder if people want me to tell their name, but she was so sweet. Um, Helena. Okay. Uh, no, Helena. No, Helena. Helena. Helena is her name. Thank you so much. And this came all the way from Portugal. Oh my God. All the way from Portugal. So we're going to open it together. It's a gift. Got a little bit of Michael News. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. It's some type of a po. Oh my God. Look at the cute butterfly bracelet. I'm wearing this today. If it fits my big old arm, I'm wearing it today because I'm going out to dinner today. And uh, oh, maybe it's ruby size because I got a big old wrist. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, you close it. Isn't that lovely? Oh, my God. It's so lovely. And it matches. It matches my outfit. So today we're going to celebrate. Um, we're going to celebrate. Uh, my birthday. We didn't do it on Monday because Monday I decided to work because I had some orders to fill from the weekend. And uh, so I have, um, uh, uh, so today we're going to the Getty Villa and we're going to Gladstone's for the restaurant. Okay, so we're going to see this together, guys. Okay, we're going to see it together. Let's see what it is. It's a poster. Okay, I almost got it. All right, here we go. Let me oh, let me turn that back on that light. There we go. It's my computer light. So here we go. Really, really in here. Oh my goodness, here it is. Okay, guys, we're. Oh my goodness, it's me and my pictures, kind of like the blanket. She had sent this to me, and I was like, wow, did is that a real picture? Oh, look how lovely this is from Alive 3 and then me from Alive 2 and me and Omar, me from Alive 4 and then me at the Michael Jackson uh, celebration, birthday celebration, me and Joe, me, Prince and BG, uh, me and Brandon Howard, uh, me and John Bronca, me and who's this down there? Uh, I think that's Brandon again. And me and Jermaine, me and Jermaine. Let's see what's down here. Who's this? That's me again in the Alive docuseries. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Oh, me and LaToya are down there. See, me, LaToya, and Jeffrey. Can you see that? Oh, there, I turned it. And me and LaToya and Jeffrey. And me and Tom Mesero. Me and Tom Mesero. Oh my God, this is so nice. I can't wait to frame it. Can't wait to frame it. Oh, it's so nice. And it's the important people too. All right. So thank you, Helena. Uh, Helena, I think it's, or Helena, one of the two. But thank you all the way from Portugal. Thank you so much. And when I get it framed, I'll, I'll let you guys see it framed where it's not curled up. All right. So there's a few things to get to. Okay, most of you advanced Michaelers. Well, let's start off. Let's start off with the one where um, I had let off, and I said, "Will they make Michael Jackson gay in the biopic or even bisexual?" And one guy who's a fan, he's fantastic. He says he's gay, and Michael wasn't gay, and he said they should not depict him as gay or bisexual if he wasn't. I was in the courtroom with my daughter. Uh, when they showed all Michael Jackson's girly magazines. And that's exactly what they were. They were girly magazines, okay? There was no male-on-male -male sexual sex, um, 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 depictions at all. And they were in a safe. But he had them locked away in a safe because they were his personal little fun things to do, <laughs> right? So, um, but anyway, Disney has a um, inclusion standard and that's what worries me. I don't just think of things just for no reason. I think of things because something sparks me to think of it, right? So this, this real quick, I'm gonna show you guys. This is 
uh, Disney's inclusion standard. So you guys can stop that if you want later. And, and, but what they're saying is they expect every, what they think group to be, to be depicted in some way in every film. Now, this is just Disney standard, but I'm finding it throughout the industry that that's what they're doing. Now, I don't see why you have to put a gay scene in there because gay is an action, right? So in order to show gay, you have to show some kind of sexual action, some type of sexual activity to where if you show a black person, you're just black. You don't have to do an activity. You don't have to do an activity or anything. Or if you show somebody handicapped, you don't have to do an activity. You are just in a um, in a wheelchair or something like that. And I understand that bleeding hearts want to make sure that everybody's represented. I get that, but we can't. We don't. We should not have to lie or put in something perverted just to make that type of point. You know what I mean? Like that one movie that I saw that had nothing to do with nothing, and two men out in the public are jacking each other. Off off on a park bench and it had nothing to do with nothing but they had to include a gay act and it just brought down the authenticity of it especially when there was not like it wasn't like they got arrested or somebody saw them it wasn't nothing it was just thrown in just throw it in okay so i'm wor worried about michael and them throwing something like that in and andy warhol even though andy warhol is a gay guy was a gay guy extremely, extremely talented. And he had a crush on Michael. Michael did not return him. And, and he represents Studio 54, that era of the late 70s, early 90s. But Studio 54 was so outrageously free that they became kind of a cesspool of STDs because people were, you know, making out in the bathrooms, in the hallway, and it was just too much of that. And then, you know, it just it just got way, way, way extra, um, extra sexualized. So um, so that's why I was thinking that um, that they're going to maybe try to do something like that. But we want the truth. Right. We want more. We want the truth. And I've been investigating Michael almost 20 years now, 19 over 19 years now. And I haven't found anything. Um, that said that he was gay or bisexual. So I hope that they don't do that because if they do that, most of Michael's fans are girls, <laughs> are women, and uh, they're just going to be turning people off. Plus, it's not true. So we won't think it's authentic. All right. And then somebody had wrote at the time that I did the video, somebody had wrote on the Jack in, on the in the Jackson's official thing uh, that they're not going to listen to some fan. OK, do what you want. Do what you want. OK, uh, but I, that, I have a, I have a right to my opinion. OK, I have a right to report and have an opinion. So there are, you know, below the line and above the line inclusion standards. OK, so just keep that in mind now. I was wondering, you know how Rebe lived in Arizona, right? Remember when Catherine was missing, I don't know, 10, 11 years ago, and they were really worried about where Catherine was when they find, found her in Arizona living with Rebe, right? And when I met Austin, Rebe's son, he said, he said he was on his way to Arizona. And I think he was supposed to be on the plane with me, but I was going to another plane on another Arizona, Right. So but that's when I saw him when I was in New York. Remember, guys, so go on Michael Jackson Insider and you'll see me with plenty of Jacksons. Austin didn't make it on this, but um, Austin and and uh, um, Austin. Well, Jermaine made it on there. OK, but anyway, so I was wondering if he had Rebe set up somewhere in Arizona because Alcor is there. Pearl, what's Alcor? Alcor is the cryonics facility. It's the cryonics facility. Okay. Now, you guys that, that are advanced believers, you know that uh, propofol is used in cryonic freezing, right? And the, the, the propofol expert for the prosecution right, said that when he tried to figure out the levels of the propofol that were in the body and everything, he said the only way that the levels got to the levels that they were is if the propofol was injected after death, 
right? Oh my God. I went like this in the courtroom. Oh, <laughs> and the judge kind of gave me a look and I just kind of went like, please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, um, but, um, uh, that's my computer going off. Okay. Uh, and I like that computer light. That's a really good light, right? Um, so, um, I'm wondering if that, if that had something to do with it. And Michael monitored the making of the body double, right? Because, um, cryonics is when you're legally dead, everything in your body does not just die, right? Doesn't just die. Your skin lives for a couple of days. The kidneys aren't all the way dead. Everything else is not all the way dead, right? So you can still, they could preserve the body. They can cool you, AKA freeze you. And um, um, they want to preserve the brain. So they give you propofol, right? And the propofol levels in the brain were never released, right? Uh, see, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all I'm right about this, right? And, um, 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 and so he wanted to monitor the plastic surgery because somebody the day after the death announcement, uh, I've already went over this, um, uh, and it'll be in a live five too. But somebody said, uh, on the next day on World Weekly News, they said the friend of theirs was an EMT and the EMT, um, said that they don't think that's Michael and it looks like that body had recent surgery. See, I don't make stuff up. I'll make stuff up. Okay. So I'm wondering if that's why Michael had Reby moved to Arizona. Just a thought, just a thought, just a thought. All right. Um, Frank Delio, Frank Delio's daughter, Frank Delio was Michael's manager. And Frank Delio was the only manager of Michael's that showed up for him at the 2005 trial. I met Frank Delio that day myself. Okay. He turned around because I sat right behind the cat, uh, the Jacksons. I mean, directly behind them, not four rows down directly behind them. I wanted them to know I got your back. And I did. Right. And Frank turned around and he shook my hand and he's a little, little stout guy, you know, um, and he was nice. And Michael said he was out of all the managers and all the people he worked with. Frank Delio was the one that showed up for him. And Michael started crying when he saw Frank Delio because somebody was there for him that knew him. Well, his daughter is now upset because um, Frank Delio is not in the movie. He is not represented in the movie and she dissed John Bronco for it. Okay. She dissed John Bronco for that. Now let's go back to internet movie database and I can't stay on here long and let's see if they're um, judging by the cast, judging by the cast. I think the movie is going to end. The Michael movie is going to end at the 1993 raid. Okay, that's when I think the movie is going to end. It's not going to get into Paris Prince and Blanket and all that. Okay, those that girl um, um, uh, that said that she was an actress and she's in the movie, she's playing somebody else. She's not playing. She's not playing uh, Paris. Okay, so Paris Prince and Blanket are not cast in the movie. And just looking at the cast tells you where it's going to end. Now, I wonder if Grace is in here. I think Grace met Michael the same time Angel met Michael around that time. And I think 2005, 95, I think it was the, the 80s, somewhere 80s, 90s. No, no, no. 2005, go back 20 years. That's 95, 95, 85, 85. Okay. So we know Diana Ross is in it. Latoya. Okay. Jordan Catherine, of course. Uh, Jafar, of course. Quincy Jones. Johnny Cochran, so we're getting into the 93 allegations because of Johnny Cochran, uh, Barry Gordy, Bill Bray, which was Michael's um, um, security until 95, until 1995. So he's in it. Um, studio celebrity, let's see, a concert goer, Jackie, a dancer. Um, yeah, so those, so there's no new people that are cast in the movie that tells us it's uh, Suzanne DePass is in it, that tells us it's going to go past the 93 allegations. I think that's when it stops. Okay. That's just me using deductive logic. Now they've already wrapped filming at Neverland. They've wrapped filming at Havenhurst. Um, they are filming at a studio um, as well. I know the city, but I'm not going to tell. And um, um, so I, they, they were scheduled to finish doing all the filming by the end of this month. But 
things happen. It might go longer. I don't know. Okay. So uh, just be prepared. Now that's my opinion. Okay. That's my opinion. You guys may have another opinion. Okay. All right. So, oh, Suzanne DePass, speaking of Suzanne DePass, Suzanne DePass was very instrumental in the Jackson 5's uh, success. If you've seen American Dream, she was all in it. Anyway, she got inducted this year with Missy Elliott to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I met her at Joe Jackson's memorial. Her and Barry Gordy are still really tight. They sat with each other. I think they even arrived with each other. Um, so Suzanne and uh, Barry go way back. And when I walked up to the Barry Gordy and I just said, I love you. I love you. I love you. And he got up and he said, oh, that deserves a hug. And Suzanne was right there. And Barry got up and gave me a big hug. And I said, your music has just like influenced my childhood and made me be a better person. And I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, and then I said, Suzanne, and your work with the Jackson 5 was just incredible. And I thank you too. And she got up and gave me a hug too. So we congratulate to Suzanne to pass. Um, um, for her in, for her um, induct, in, induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. All right. MJ recorded a song called Resurrection in 2003. Now, you guys already know. I, oh, my goodness. You guys already know. Okay, let's do Wikipedia. That the Michael movie is going to be released Easter weekend, right? Wikipedia, and let's do um, Michael Jackson's unreleased songs. Okay, Michael Jackson unreleased songs. Okay, Michael Jackson, list of Michael Jackson unreleased songs. Okay, so he has the, he has a lot, there's a lot of unreleased songs, but some of these are snippets, not really full songs, but there's a lot of them. Okay, if I was able to show you guys, hopefully it won't buffer. Okay, let me show you guys the vast list of, unre of unreleased songs. Look, look how long that goes for. Look at that. Look at that. My goodness. Okay, so there's a lot of unreleased songs, um, but they're not full songs. Okay, that Michael. So Resurrection... Let's go to Resurrection. Uh, resurrection R. Um, resurrection. Hmm. Don't tell me Resurrection ain't on the list. They done took it off. All right. So now I got to now I got to find my notes. OK, now it's not here. So who took off resurrection? Who took off resurrection? Okay, let me Google. Michael Jackson. I had saved it. Um, unreleased song. R-E-S-U-R-R-E-C-T-I-O-N. Resurrection. Okay, here it is. Unreleased song. Michael Jackson, resurrection. I don't know that album, but there is some kind of resurrection song. Michael Jackson aborted the 11th Resurrection album. Resurrection is a fan-made album. List of unreleased songs recorded by Jackson. Okay, um, I found it in 2003 on his official list. Uh, let's see, because if a fan was, was it Peter Michael Bobby doing that Resurrection stuff? So maybe he was telling us, wait, there's another prediction. If Peter Michael Bobby, I think he did resurrection stuff. He was telling us in advance that's when he wanted to um, uh, release the movie, the Michael movie, because they could pick whatever date they want, right? So let me see. Let me let me go to my 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 archives and look up unreleased songs. Okay, I gotta go unreleased. But when 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 I gotta go, I have um. I'm good because I have done mostly everything. I'm already ready. All I got to do is grab my purse and go. Get the phone, grab my purse and go. All right. So unreleased songs. Come on. Why are you, you going to make, make it hard on me? Okay. Let's try this again. Let 
Let's see if I have it. Working on it. Was it Peter Michael Bobby who did Resurrection? Even if it's another name, it still could have been him. You know, because they fool everything. No, that's not it. Oh, but here's that comment I was telling y'all about. Let me see if it's here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, here it is, that comment. Uh, let me let me see. Where is that comment? Uh, oh, did they take that comment down? Oh, my God. Wait, the 26th. Hold on, let me find it. It was by Hot, Hot on the Press or something. Where is it? Where is that comp? Here it is. Here it is. This is what I was telling you guys about before what the EMT said. Funny that I found it. It said um, EMT on June 26, 2009 at 2.38 a.m. So it hasn't even been 24 hours yet. It's been about 12 hours. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine who works for the fire department near UCLA has spoken to the paramedics who tried to save Jackson's life. Both paramedics have told him that the scene on arrival at the Stars home had an unusual feel about it. And they quoted unusual feel um, that something seemed out of place on examining the star's collapsed body it was clear that he had undergone recent surgery um, and didn't look like any of the photos the paramedics had seen both are uncertain that the person they took to UCLA was indeed the 50 year old star okay see here it is here there it is and it is on world weekly news there it is. We know about this, right? You advanced believers, you know about that. On June 25th, it says Michael Jackson faked his death. But on June 20th, it says Michael Jackson is going to fake his death, right? Oh, my God. It's, it's so much good stuff. It's so much good stuff. So let me look up unreleased songs because I just saw that unreleased. Let me just use that word and see if it comes up. Unreleased songs. I had it. Resurrection. Unreleased song. Uh, let me see. Michael wants unreleased songs to come out. Uh, gosh, you know, I will post it, but I found it the other day. I was looking for something and let me just put up songs. Okay. And the song, let's see if it comes up. Unreleased songs, Michael Jackson. Where is resurrection? Oh, this might be it. No, on March 4th, 2009, right after he did the This Is It promo, uh, pr uh, promo like this is it, and I mean it, I mean it, this is it, right? Uh, a news outlet said, Michael said, when I die, release all my unreleased songs. Okay, mm -hmm. it wasn't a setup. It's Everything is just so here, okay? Unreleased songs to be released, Michael, oh, Michael, Michael, Michael. Where is that unreleased song? Resurrection, because I had found it 2003. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, my goodness. Where is it? I had found it. I had found it. Oh, well, I can't find it now. So I, I'm going to have to move on. I'll post it next time. Um, Barry Gibb, you know, Barry Gibb, who's the song All in the Name, All in the Game, and all the death documents are in the wrong name. You know, Michael had Barry Gibb's name in one of the notes. And I can't find the video, but Latoya did a shout out saying Barry Gibb, you know, the song or something. And Barry Gibb released the song All in the Name, All in the Game on June 25th, the second anniversary of the death announcement. Right. I'm just saying 2011. Um, there was a song called Dead or Alive. Uh, that Michael did and in 2004 and the word D-I-E was recorded in 2009. Wow. Let me let me look up that. Let, let's go back to the list of unreleased songs and let's go back to uh, why isn't resurrection here? Oh, my God. So let's go back to die D-I-E. Okay, D I E was recorded. D period, I period, E period. That song was recorded. Um, that one's gone too. Oh, so somebody then came in here and tried to cover stuff up. Oh my gosh. Oh, here it is. My bad. It's here. It's here. Michael Jackson, Michael Prince, Theron, and Femster third are working on the song 2008 2009. The word D I E. Two versions of the song were registered with the copyright artist 
on the first Prince is not credited. So Michael Prince, that's what they mean, Michael Prince. He's an audio engineer. I got a picture of me and Michael Prince. I should put that on, on my Michael Jackson Insider because I, I met him too. Um, but yeah, so the DIE, and then they have it like with the parentheses of 2010. So Michael was telling you, you're going to die, but it means something. The DIE, D period, I period, E period, Michael Jackson meaning. Okay. I got to go. I got to go. Meaning of song. Okay. Um, the DIE song. Uh oh, oh where where I know it means something. Somebody knows. So one of you guys know it means something. The D I E. It means something. Uh why won't they uh come on? D I let me quote it. Um why is it so hard? Before we I could look up stuff quick. Okay, D I E. Oh, and then they gonna put they gonna put die June twenty fifth. No, he didn't. That's when he faked his death. Okay, where is that D I E song? Um, wow, wow. I wonder if I have it in my archives. Then I gotta really go. And another thing is um, one thing that I don't understand. Real quick, and I'm gonna keep looking for that. One thing I don't understand: Jason Malachi, right? People think he wrote on the on the, on the Michael album. Uh, he sang in Breaking News um, and two more songs, Breaking News and a couple other songs that they say that Michael Jackson was. Um, let's see, uh, Breaking News, Keep Your Head Up, and Breaking News, Keep Your Head Up, and another one. So there was a couple of songs, right? They think Jason Malachi had to sing them. But we know that Michael had more songs to be released because there was the release of the Escape album, right? So why did they have to fake um, uh, use those songs? They weren't desperate to fill an album because we know there's more songs that could fill an album because we got a whole album with the Escape album, which was three or four years later. So why did they feel like they had to use Jason Malachi and fake songs? It was all just weird. But anyway, the way that it came out, the girl, a, a, a girl uh, sued um, uh, Sony. And um, eventually, after 10 years of her battling back and forth and going on appeal and all this other stuff, the state decided, you know what? We don't want her opening up our records and we don't want a trial date and we don't want to get stuff subpoenaed. So we are just going to take the songs down, just take them down off the streaming platforms. Right. They never admitted that Michael did not sing them. Right. But they don't want people meddling around in their in in, in their stuff and subpoenaing their stuff. OK, so let me see, because um, Michael wrote D.I.E. And it was a note. It was one of his most recent notes that he had wrote. D-I-E. Uh, D-I-E. Uh, I should have looked this up first. So, no, 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 no. So, I'll have to do... I'll have to do more research on that one because I know the D-I-E means something. Um, but I'm wondering why is this so hard for me to find in Google? Okay. Hmm. All right. So, um, and then let's see dead or alive. Let's go back to that list, the Wikipedia list. And dead or alive is another song that Michael had did. I think I have that in one of the alive documentaries. Uh, dead, D-E-A-D. Or alive. Where is that one? I don't know where that song is either. Okay, so somebody then came in and added some songs and deleted some songs off of here. Then, uh, Sexy Lady. Somebody had did something saying that Sexy Lady was Michael, but it ended up being somebody else. And so I don't know about that one. I don't know. 
I'll do, I'll do more. I'll do more. But on one of Michael's notes, hold on. I'm going to do this and that's it. Okay, notes. Because I know I got the die notes. Notes that were found in his house. Okay. Oh, why isn't everything coming up? Why isn't everything coming up? It's like, it's like the wrong stuff is coming up. Do I have the wrong thing plugged in? The wrong, no, I got the major hard drive plugged in. So Michael Jackson's notes. How come I can't, there, it's not here. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let's do here. Okay, I think I got it now. Resurrection. I think I was looking in my, and okay, let's see. Register, register. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, I found it. I found the register, uh, the, um, uh, resurrection. Here it is. And then I got to go. And then I look up D.I.E. Okay. So here it is here. It says it's a Michael Jackson song written and recorded in 2003. Okay. And had been intended and had been intended uh, uh, for an album Jackson had been working on in 2003, but the album was never released, but canceled due to the child sexual abuse allegations. So why isn't this? Because this is Wikipedia that I got it from. Why has that song been taken off? Or maybe they rechanged the name, but they could say formally called, you know, Resurrection. And then let's see, I have Michael Jackson's notes. Okay, so now I know. Let me put in D period, I period, D period, I period, E period. See if anything comes up. D, I, E. Okay, let's see. That was another song. Come on, no items ma match that. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. So, oh, dead or alive. Okay, dead or alive. Okay, dead or alive. That's supposed to be another song. That is another song. Oh, here it is. Dead or alive. Where is, here it is. I, I've had this stuff saved. Here it is. It's another Wikipedia. Okay, dead or alive. Can you see it? It's kind of a reflection. Dead or alive. And it says written and recorded in 2004. Okay, so Michael was giving us a lot of little clues in his... Oh, I found it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. go back, go back. I think I found D-I-E. No, dead or alive, dead or alive, dead or alive. I got more. I have it all on the, you know, I have it listed with the, see? See there? Dead or Alive, Michael Jackson, found on a list taped to the wall in Michael Jackson's bedroom in 2005. Written in 2006. My, see, and there's Dead Alive, Dead or Alive there. So why aren't those songs on the list anymore? Covering your tracks, perhaps, Michael? <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, dead or Alive. And then there is... Um, uh, I got to find that D-I-E. Let's, let's look up notes. And then I'm, I mean it. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Let's go to notes. Michael Jackson's notes. Okay. That were on his wall. I think it's this one. Here it is right here. Here it is. See, best of joy, uh, die, uh, something lady, hold my hand, can't stop loving you, silent spring, you were there, Hollywood tonight, shut up and dance, rock tonight, and uh, beautiful girl. So those are a list of songs. Oh, Barry Gibb, MC, everything I said I was, I, I was gonna do, it's right here. Okay, so there is the D I E, okay, and there's Barry Gibb right there. Okay, MJ, Sony. See? Okay, so everything that I said, I think I pulled up for you. All right, guys. Wish me a happy birthday. And uh, gosh, time is flying. Golly. All right, guys. And I love you all. And But I got to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yep, that's all my notes. Okay, bye. Love you. Bye-bye.